Hey, everybody. You're about to hear a brief retelling of the movie Awareness. Enjoy the movie. Vicente visits a tiny village in Spain and steals a load of bottles by hiding them beneath his jacket, while his son Ian uses his particular skill to create illusions, leading the cashier not to notice the theft. Vicente departs after making a little purchase, and Ian maintains the illusion as his father searches for the truck. However, a group of gorgeous girls pass by and label Ian a freak, distracting him and prompting him to abandon the illusion. The cashier notices the stolen bottles and gets her hammer to pursue Vicent. However, Ian traps her in another illusion by claiming to have a revolver in his hand. However, this does not stop the clerk, and Ian panics, mistakenly shooting the lady. As the woman collapses, Ian sees a glimpse of her memories, and police sirens can be heard nearby. Vicente carries Ian away in the vehicle, and the wound is gone when the officer checks on the lady. As Vicente drives the truck down the road, officers follow after them, but Ian twists the mirror to utilize his power and reflect it back at the patrol vehicles, fooling them into thinking they're traveling a different path as Vicente scolds him. When they drive too far, the illusion crumbles and the officers reappear, beginning the chase. Ian disagrees with his father, not understanding why they should keep quiet when they may become wealthy with a simple trick. Vincent refuses to give in, claiming that it would attract their notice, but refusing to answer Ian's question about who they are. By the time they get to the shore, Ian has released a larger illusion that fools the officer into thinking they're in a hailstorm. The officer notices hail damage to his car, and the high wind causes it to overturn, carrying it all the way to a petrol station. There, the officer realizes everything is okay. This entire encounter is captured on security cameras and quickly reaches the mysterious Dr. Adriana. The next morning, the two are on the abandoned ship where they are living discreetly. Ian has a dream about his dead mother singing to him when he was a kid, and when she screams, he wakes up horrified. Vicente prepares a special birthday brunch for Ian and gives him a photo of his mother from the day he discovered his abilities. Then Ian wants to go to the arcade to have a typical adolescent birthday, but Vicente prohibits him. Ian, enraged, goes to his room to vent his rage on the training dummy, but after much pounding, he escapes via the window. In town, the officer tells the bartender about the hail he witnessed, which the perceiver overhears and uses his power to knock the cop down. Later that evening, a secret squad surrounds the ship and infiltrates it while Vicente is distracted by the television. Adriana reveals herself, stating that she has joined the agency and treating Vicente like an old friend. She wants to know about Ian, so they strike Vicente to get him to talk, but then they receive a communication from other agents containing Ian's whereabouts. Meanwhile, Ian is in the arcade when the perceiver and two agents arrive looking for him. The perceiver drags one of them behind a curtain and effortlessly beats him up before utilizing his radio with a phony voice to inform Adriana that there is a perceiver around. Adriana quickly informs all of her agents that this is their new top priority. The perceiver then continues his search for Ian, who is hidden behind a table. The second agency agent fires on him, but the perceiver just walks away and reappears behind the agent, demonstrating that this is all a trick of the light. The agent pursues the fake perceiver as the genuine lifts his hand to attempt to mislead Ian, but an agency agent intervenes and places a helmet on him to disable his powers. The perceiver pulls the guy back and begins battling him in a dark chamber, then tosses the agent through a wall and finds himself surrounded by a large team of VR players, but he continues fighting them without breaking a sweat while ignoring the VR players surrounding them. When all of the agents are dead, the perceiver removes his helmet and goes in search of Ian. Meanwhile, Esther and another agent approach Ian and take him outside. Adriana is waiting for him in a van and tells him there are more people like him before revealing to him that Vicente has been abducted, so Ian joins them. When he enters the vehicle, however, they promptly tie him up and place a helmet on him before extracting a blood sample. The vehicle has vanished by the time the perceiver arrives, so he proceeds down the street and produces the illusion of a stroller to induce a truck to abruptly stop and cause an accident. The van driver contemplates halting, but Adriana encourages him to continue, revealing that the truck was also an illusion. 
Ian awakens at the agency facility moments later, and Adriana informs him about their past. The agency is an organization at odds with the conscience, a group of people with Ian's skills. They've been manipulating individuals and authority for years, which is why no matter which political party wins, the country remains the same. The agency wishes to put a stop to them and restore true democracy. Adriana says that the perceiver will want Ian to join him or he will kill him, so she asks the boy to collaborate with her instead. She also wants the formula in Ian's blood since it has the potential to impede the enemy's abilities. Adriana then wonders what Ian can project and cites other things like humans, but Ian tells he's tried and it's impossible to create the illusion of a person, which Adriana disputes. She offers Ian a difficult test, so she explains that his talents are regulated by intense emotions. By showing Ian a picture of his mother and emphasizing his tragic upbringing, Ian creates the image Adriana desired, they're on a large beach with an unpleasant fly buzzing about her. Adriana then requests that he return her to reality while keeping the fly in a loop, the name they give lasting illusions. Ian, on the other hand, bursts the illusion and asks to see his father. Adriana invites Ian to visit Vicente, who warns him that the agency would only experiment on him, but Adriana reveals that Ian may utilize his second power, which is to peer into his father's memories, to find out the truth. Ian sees a young Vicente working for the agency as he enters his father's memory. When everyone was startled by a startling alert, he took advantage of the opportunity to grab infant Ian. Adriana tracked him down and attempted to stop him, but Vicente fought off the guards and fled. Back in the present, Vicente passes out as Ian pulls go of him, unhappy that Vicente isn't his biological father. Adriana confirms this, but also discloses that his mother may still be alive. Adriana then gives the blood test findings to the American, who is curious about Ian's talents. Adriana reveals that he received them from his parents, which they thought was impossible because perceivers were meant to be sterile. Ian is the first one to be born as one. The American instructs Adriana to fetch the formula and get rid of Ian, but she refuses, citing Ian's ability to awaken the third power and serve as their sole protection against the mule. The mule, on the other hand, is considered a myth by Americans. A doctor subsequently reviews Ian's test results and smirks when he learns his neuron factor is 204%. Meanwhile, Esther visits Ian in his room and informs him that he is nothing more than a lab rat, so she gives him a way out. They make it downstairs only to be surrounded by guards, which Esther battles with a baton, a taser, and remarkable skill. All of the agents are knocked out in a matter of minutes, and the duo attempts to flee. However, Ian suggests that they also bring Vicente since his memories provide the answers he seeks. Adriana eventually detects the escape and calls the alarm as the trio takes Vicente away and hunts for a car outside. The agents rush outside to open fire, but Ian speeds away while shouting with Vicente about his lying. Inside the lab, the previous doctor suddenly takes a gun and shoots everyone in the room before inspecting the surveillance cameras and showing himself to be the perceiver. On his way out, Ian uses his abilities to direct the guard's fire in a new direction. When they approach the mountain road, Ian's reckless driving leads the car to skid and crash. Seconds later, the perceiver appears and Ian uses his talents to convince him that there is nothing there, but the perceiver smiles and walks away. After that, the gang finds a hotel to hide in. The next morning, Ian and Esther spend some time together on the roof before returning to the room, where they discover Vicente has passed out due to alcohol consumption. Ian is still looking for answers, so he enters his father's thoughts once more. Ian recalls Adriana clutching paperwork belonging to patient Kuminski, who was shortly transported to Poland. Then she went outside to inspect the van and inform the driver that the formula will be administered tonight. Ian looks around and notices a masked guy behind the driver who is missing three fingers. This shot causes Ian to lose the connection. Moments later, Ian walks into the bank and hands the clerk a random piece of paper, deceiving her into thinking it's a check he wants to cash. The clerk hands him the money, and as Ian walks out, she realizes that the check is only a note and requests security. Fortunately, Ian meets Esther, and they manage to flee quickly enough to avoid capture. 
Back at the hotel, Esther has fun throwing cash around the room before jumping in the shower, but Ian is concerned since Vicente isn't there. When he hears someone parking outside, he orders Esther to remain concealed and then crafts an illusion. When the perceiver enters, he discovers an abandoned chamber, but he quickly sees the truth by revealing a mirror because illusions have no effect on it. Ian and the perceiver battle right away as the illusions alter, and Ian tries to use Esther's taser and even a chair to no use. They battle for a while until the perceiver forces Ian against the wall and, after looking into Ian's memories, he peers into the toilet. He went to the bank to get money to travel to Poland and find the scientist who conducted the experiment. When the perceiver drops Ian, he collapses and the man simply walks away. Ian is dreaming about his mother again when he is awoken by Vicente, who scolds him since the bank heist is now a major news in the city. Ian blames Vicente for lying to him and continues to address him by his first name rather than dad. A dispute erupts, and Vicente informs Ian that he has two choices, stay down this path that would only bring him sorrow, or leave with Vicente. Ian decides to travel to Poland without him. Meanwhile, Adriana and the American follow the serial numbers on the cash Ian took and learn he's purchased train tickets. Ian and Esther arrive in Poland some hours later and immediately go in search of the lab agents are waiting for them nearby, but the perceiver eliminates them all with a few shots. When the couple arrives at the facility, it is an old abandoned structure, and Ian immediately recognizes the chamber from his nightmares. However, he insists that it should be greater and begins pounding on the walls until he hears a hollow sound. Ian instantly bursts through the wall and discovers a hidden area full of cabinets and paperwork. There's a notepad with the heading Project Awareness and a photo of his mother inside that reminds him of their time together. Esther studies the back of the image and discovers that the scientist behind the trials is Ian's grandpa, who conducted the tests on his own daughter. Meanwhile, Vicente returns to his ship and is unexpectedly visited by Adriana, who advises him to quit drinking and become a genuine parent. Back to Ian, he sees that Esther has brought the perceiver inside, claiming that she is assisting Ian in obtaining the answers he sought. Ian refuses to listen and pulls out a revolver, but the perceiver sees through him and walks straight through him. As the perceiver looks about, he finds more and more duplicates of Ian until he is surrounded by them. He realizes they're all deceptions and turns to look at Esther, who points to where the real Ian is. The perceiver confronts the actual Ian with his own gun and informs him that he is Ian's biological father. During the Cold War, a scientist developed a formula and administered it to a group of volunteers, including his daughter and the perceiver. This endowed them with extraordinary abilities, and they became spies skilled performing mind tricks. However, after the war was over, the government didn't know what to do with them and was afraid these spies would work for the enemy, so they decided to kill them all one by one. They were beginning to lose hope when the mule appeared out of nowhere. The mule is the final and most powerful perceiver, and when they attempted to murder him as well, he revealed the third power, mind control. This ability enabled him to make his adversaries murder each other or even self-destruct. Following that, the mule gathered the survivors and founded the conscience, through which everyone learned to conceal their abilities and live a regular life. He was dubbed the mule because he was sterile, as all perceivers are expected to be. Because Ian's mother and the perceiver had not used protection, she became pregnant one day, which was considered a miracle. Ian is the only naturally born perceiver. At that point, agents begin to enter the premises, which is detected by the perceiver, who instructs Esther to transport the youngster to his home in Madrid. The perceiver is fighting the agents while the couple ascends the stairs. He shoots them all without hesitation and kills a significant number of them at first, but they keep coming, so the perceiver starts employing spider illusions to confuse them and shoot them quicker. Unfortunately, two guys still approach him from behind and seize his helmet. Meanwhile, the couple encounters several agents, but Esther effortlessly defeats them in a matter of seconds, even killing them with their own guns. Then she and Ian dash to the roof, where Esther demonstrates her abilities by performing a spectacular jump and landing flawlessly. Ian hesitates, but more agents arrive, so he falls down a tunnel and flees with Esther. 
The perceiver is subsequently discovered at the agency's lab. After sending a robot to obtain a blood sample, they activate the machine to examine his body, putting him through a lot of discomfort. Adriana resists the American's instruction to stop since it will kill him and they need him. However, the perceiver is trembling and screaming in such excruciating pain that Adriana is forced to call the experiment off. A scientist arrives minutes later with awful news for Adriana. The formula has become so diluted in the perceiver's body that it cannot be recovered. Adriana tells the American the news, stating Ian is their last hope. When the perceiver feels better, he asks for a drink of water, and the robot gives it to him. At that point, the perceiver shows his third power and, via the robot's camera, takes possession of the technician's consciousness and commands him to trigger the robot's armament, killing all of the scientists and agents observing him. The perceiver then orders the technician to release him. When Esther and Ian arrive at the perceiver's house in Madrid, the housekeeper greets them with a big surprise. Ian's mother is alive, but she's in a catatonic state due to the trials. Adriana tells the American the news, stating Ian is their last hope. When the perceiver feels better, he asks for a drink of water, and the robot gives it to him. At that point, the perceiver shows his third power and, via the robot's camera, takes possession of the technician's consciousness and commands him to trigger the robot's armament, killing all of the scientists and agents observing him. The perceiver then orders the technician to release him. When Esther and Ian arrive at the perceiver's house in Madrid, the housekeeper greets them with a big surprise. Ian's mother is alive, but she's in a catatonic state due to the trials. As Ian gets closer, the perceiver appears and informs him that his mother isn't fully gone, that a little portion of her mind is still inside her. Ian enters her head, and as they cross paths again in her recollections, her physical body begins to shake. The perceiver soon joins them and reveals Ian memories of his mother's awful agony at the hands of the agency. However, before she was apprehended, she implanted a memory in Ian's mind, allowing him to access the formula, which is symbolized by the toys. The perceiver desires the formula to create new humans with powers, but as he approaches the toys, he is met with an unseen wall. Ian believes his mother doesn't want anybody getting the formula, but the perceiver continues striking the invisible wall, causing her considerable harm. This grief pushes everyone else out of her consciousness, and Ian returns to reality to perform his childhood song for his mother before she dies. At that point, a swarm of agents surrounds the home and enters the room. After losing his mother, Ian finally awakens the third power, allowing him to control the agents and make them knock each other out in a matter of seconds. Then Ian goes in search of additional agents, and this time he orders them shoot each other to death, smirking at the blood smears and dismissing Esther's objections. The agents are terrified and rush outside to rejoin Adriana. Ian pursues them and forces them to kneel with their rifles poised for self-defense. Vicente appears unexpectedly to inform Ian that the perceiver is influencing him and that he should not be held responsible for a slaughter since he will regret it later. The perceiver puts a pistol on the floor and orders Ian to murder Vicente as well, but Ian is just looking for vengeance against his agency. Vicente shouts at the perceiver for claiming to be Ian's father despite never having nurtured him, and the perceiver responds by shooting Vicente. This causes Ian to lose control of the group and rushes to check on Vicente as the perceiver abducts Esther. Vicente wants Ian to enter his head with his last energy, knowing he won't survive. Because his mother urged Vicente to take the baby away to rescue him, Ian apologizes to Vicente and calls him dad again. They hug before watching one of their favorite memories of fishing together before Vicente's body succumbs and dies. After saying his goodbyes to his father, Ian gets the revolver and proceeds in search of the perceiver, who is hiding at a party in a nearby building. Ian follows the sound of Esther's voice and uses his talents to knock the partygoers to the ground, revealing the perceiver holding Esther at gunpoint. As they try to seize control of the pistol, Ian and the perceiver engage in a mental battle, but Ian hasn't fully mastered his skills yet, and the perceiver regains control of his hand. After that, Ian begs the perceiver not to harm Esther, but Adriana points out that no one else is there, implying that the perceiver implanted a loop within Ian's skull. 
As Ian goes through his memories, he discovers he did what he saw Esther do, and the perceiver implanted the loop in his mind when he first saw him in the arcade. Ian sobs as he feels deceived once more, but Esther assures him that her emotions for him are genuine. In a panic, Ian shoots Esther, but the bullet passes through her and kills the perceiver. Esther goes up to Ian and they hug. Ian then arranges for his mother's and Vicente's remains to be buried at the cemetery. Adriana also pays them a visit and encourages Ian to choose a side, claiming that she desperately needs the formula, but Ian refuses to join the battle and departs with Esther to begin a new life. Then Ian gets in the truck and finally kisses Esther. Ian stares at Adriana, who is talking to the American, before they depart. However, the man does not appear in the truck mirror, indicating that she, too, is stuck in a loop.